What's going on, wrestling fans? Welcome into another edition of Near Falls with D Hall, a wrestling podcast. Today, it is my favorite episode of the year. My favorite project, the Whippeal preseason preview. So pumped up to release this to you guys. Uh, just right off the bat, we're doing it a little bit different than we did last year. Last year, I had them all together on one. It was like three hours long. It was a lot. This year, I'm changing it up. Each single team is going to have their own little video, their own little episode of the pod. So um, you want to sift through all the other stuff. Uh, super excited for that. We talked to all these different coaches, man. I had 30 guys come on from across double A and triple A, which shattered my uh, my goals for this year, which is awesome. So, yeah, man, I'm just super excited to release this to you guys. It's It was a lot of fun. These coaches were open and honest. Um, they had great insight. And for me, man, just to sit down and, and listen to these guys talk about what they're wrestling. There's not much better in my world. So without further ado, here is the Whippeal preseason preview. Thank you, guys. Love you. Ends. As always, brought to you by Switch Custom Apparel. Welcome to the Near Falls Whippeal Show. Where DR and Kaz are gonna tell you all the things you wanna know. Whether it's Trinity or Spencer Lee or Mr. Kurt Angle, just as Vinny D, where B and Ken and Mac for sure. They got the interviews to suit your soul. Because it's near files in the wheel. Okay, joining me now on the call, we have Coach of the washington prexies mr kyle klein how are you sir i'm good uh doing all right you know busy just going over being like sick but i'm good now i'm feeling better so get ready for the season let's go man it's getting cold yeah, out man, and, it's, uh, it's nuts it's that been time crazy, of year you know it's a crazy week for me because like we have all the youth stuff and then junior high mm -hmm. and then high school and you know like our season hasn't even started yet for high school really because our kids are still playing football so right, it's a, it's a waiting game, and we have a couple kids in a room, but it's like we're behind, and then the youth is nuts. So it's, it's it, somewhat it, of a good problem to have that football teams uh they they have a run going, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, and like I said, all our like wrestlers play football, almost the whole team. So it, it's hard, you know. You want them, you know, in the room, but you also want them to win, you know. Yep. So just you know, we're hoping they win, but excited for them to get back. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, so talk about the off-season program. How's it gone for you guys? Obviously, they're playing football now, but were you able to get some of those guys in the room and, and uh, get some workouts in? Yeah, I mean, we have open mats going on right now. Um, like I said, it's always hard for me because I go from coaching football at Plum to, you know, one couple kids, you know, work out a couple of our college kids, um, go down to Phoenix, a couple other clubs, but – um, I think a couple of them are going to Quest now too. So I mean, some of them are getting practices in, but like you know, Wash High is such like a predominantly rest. I mean, football school. So it's like their weight room like lifts are for football. So I mean, it hurts us in a little bit, but you know, I can't really get in anyway. So I mean, open mats are our best way to get them in shape. Mm, mm, no doubt. Okay, as the off season program has progressed and you're starting to get into the start of the season. Um, even last year's, uh, you know, results as well. Who are some of the leaders that that you're going to be leaning on uh, for this squad? Um, I mean, we have one senior, once two seniors back. Uh, Bo Barlow has been wrestling for us for like four years. He's always been a tough kid. I mean, his record mm -hmm. won't show it at all. Um, but he's always in matches. Like he'll he'll wrestle like four or three matches. They get stuck. You know, um, he's a kid that I want to see. You know, progress. I'm not saying he's gonna be like a you know killer or anything, but he'll be a pretty good wrestler for us um tyler roberts is our 215 pounder he kind of played a backup role for us last year um he's a pretty good football player pretty big kid he's always been a decent wrestler um and that's our sophomore class um joe wilson obviously mm -hmm. he's he's a captain on the football field he'll be a captain on our team i'm sure he's what's he know, play on the football field uh, i think he's a guard and he's just an absolute dog like just a monster they said he's insane like i watched his playoff game he got his helmet ripped off and they just hip tossed someone <laughs> um, he got a penalty. He's he's just a different kid, man. He's like football. They said he's just unreal. Like I'm sure he'll get offers for football, mm. but he's a, he'll be a pretty good wrestler too. And then Caleb Patton will be a sophomore for us. Um, he was injured early last year. He made a run. Um, he went to sections. One match weight with Fields wrestled a kid from Mount Pleasant, real tough. Um, so he'll, he'll be a kid that you know we want to see grow. Um, he should right. be a regional qualifier for us. So those are the two kids that 
we're relying on for wins. And then the two seniors will probably be for the more leadership role. How about freshmen? Uh, any guys that, that might not, come in? So we, we're not sure yet because, like I said, they're all playing football. And, and last mm-hmm. year in junior high, they were there were some eighth players that were pretty good. Um, but we don't know who's going to come out. We really have no idea. Um, course, I know with eighth graders, like six or seven solid seventh graders. We're excited for them. We had a couple eighth grades state qualifiers. So that back end's pretty good. But this ninth grade class may be, you know, the missed one compared to, you know, last year when we had, you know, three very, very good freshmen. Yeah, man, it seems like there's uh, a lull in a lot of these programs. The COVID uh, kind of took out a, a big portion of these numbers. Um, yeah. But as yep. you get into this season, uh, as you get into the season, how have you built this uh, schedule and, and uh, getting these guys ready for the end of the year? So, it, like I said, it's kind of different for us. Like we wrestle, we're going to go shark tears right off the bat. I don't know how many kids we're going to have because, you know, it's in two weeks and we don't even know if we're going right. to have kids practicing yet. So we'll have a couple of kids there, I'm sure. Um, you know, I don't know how we'll do. It, it's honestly up in the air. But if like, all our kids come back, we're, we're going to run them to death and then let them wrestle. <laughs> so they know where, they're going to know where they're at. You know, we're not going to expect great results. Right. We know, we, we'll know what shape we're in. Um, you know, we get hammered right off the bat. We get Town. you know, December. I think it's December 6th. So. You know who, but you know who you are. So that's the good part about having that match first is, is you know where you're at, right? Like we will yep. go and get beat up on, and we've done it in the past. We've got beat up on first match. But we've also had some kids surprise us. You know, they were in the match. And then later on in the year, they'll see some of those kids, and, and they'll get closer. You know what I mean? Burgess Town's obviously, you know, the standard. They are. They're a standard in their section. They're a standard in the Whitfield, um, them and mm. Burl. So we like wrestling them first. You get it out of the way. Um, but then we will go to West Mifflin for the holiday tournament. We went there last year. We did really well. We took like fifth as a team. Um, it's good for us because we have a lot of younger kids, so they get a lot more matches. Matt time's good, and you can take two kids per weight. Mm. Um, and then try Cata and then the Burgestown tournament for tournaments for us. Um, we're looking at another duel or um, tournament. You know what I mean? We want to find some different teams. I feel like we wrestle the same people every weekend sometimes. Like you may see mm. Joe versus JoJo. 95 times or you know, <laughs> go versus Rosilco from Bentworth. You may see that like every weekend and it gets repetitive. And you do want to find more competition for these kids. Yeah, no doubt about it. I agree there. And uh, yeah, it's tough to just keep going through wrestling the same guys. You feel like you're in a round robin. I was uh, I remember being part of that in school. I remember I wrestled one guy like six times in my senior year. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens, man. It does. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's unreal. It's unbelievable. And me and Joey Vigil, I talked about it. Like, we're gonna yes. be waiting at the end of tournaments, you know, because hopefully he's top like four at every tournament, and then you're watching like him versus JoJo every single time, yeah. or him versus the kid from Bentworth or the kid from, and like all the head, like most of the heavyweights are in our section, so they're gonna wrestle. Yeah every week and it's it's a grinder for that weight and it's always like a wash high it's always the last match so we're always waiting <laughs> so we get used to it, man we, we eat good like you know we're always in the concession stand we're always in the coach's room so yeah but it's yeah. always that last match so you know you get used to it i appreciate that that's good stuff okay room games what do you guys get into dodgeball kickball well we got a little bit of everything so we have um spike ball that's that's okay. one of the ones that kids like now dodgeball we got map ball we're a huge basketball team Interesting. Um, you know, they can't make a shot, but the final score is like three, two, but they love it. Like every day it's <laughs> basketball for a warm up. I don't get it. Uh, it's unreal. Like they're the kids that would never make the basketball team at wash high, but like they play it. You know what I mean? Like, it's right, like, right. like they're part of the team. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. old, school, old school wall ball. Okay. Um, you know, old school kind of like how, you know, we grew up playing where you, you peg them and stuff. Right. Right. Um, it, there's a game called Klein ball. They're not through me. It's a mixture of basketball, soccer, and like ultimate football. So it's nice. there's tackling, there's there's push ups, there's a lot of fights uh, when it comes to game day, but um, <laughs> a lot of conditioning. If we play basketball, they have to stay moving. If they get mm. caught not moving, they got to do push ups, mm. get back in. Um, but yeah, a little bit of everything, man. We play a lot of games. We actually play a card game too. Um, if there's like a small group of us, like there is now, we'll get a deck of cards and we'll just sit like in a circle and each kid picks a card and. and you challenge someone like war so 
and you go to you collect the most cards. So our kids are doing like a hundred thousand push-ups without realizing it, but they're playing war, calling each other out. So, you know, just small games like that help. I don't mind that. That's a good way. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And the kids love it because they don't realize it. And you're only doing like 10 push-ups max at a time, but after a while it gets tired. I play sometimes, but then you know, I kind of slip out of the room. So get a little use the little coach's excuse. Ah, yeah, get after all the time, (laughs) all the time, all the time. But yeah, I'll go <laughs> all kinds of games, man. Sometimes more games in practice, which hurts us, but uh, you know, it's all fun. I love that. Okay. Uh social medias. How can we follow your squad this year? Uh mostly Twitter. Um, you know, I usually tweet at you guys anyway. Um Twitter, I'm gonna try to be more like adamant on it, you know, following and I wanna make a page, but I wanna get it uh proof to the school. Mm. We also have a Facebook. Um, you know, it's Washington Prexy Wrestling, and then we're gonna create an Instagram account too, I think, just to show some pictures and stuff. <clears throat> we're starting to get more kids into college wrestling too. So we're trying to follow them, shout out to them when they're in there and everything. So yeah, talk about that. Who do you, what, what alumni you have right <laughs> in college? Uh, Big Cam, Cam Carter yeah. Green. He's back at Pitt Bradford. He won his conference title last year. Um, he had a meniscus injury though. So um, he's still mm. waiting to hear back from it. Maybe a redshirt year for him, which, you know, I talked to him the other day about it. We, we still talk all the time. It's like, he's like my little brother. Um, my little big brother, but I talked to him literally almost every other day. He sends me mm. Snapchats and um, Mikey Ewing still at Seton Hill, um, still in a backup role, but he's still practicing. He's absolutely massive. Like it's stupid. That's awesome. And then uh, Nick Blanchett, actually, he was our um, 45 pounder last year. He busted his knee up. He's actually having a decent year and he's at W and J. So we have three nice. people in the last two years that are wrestling in college. And, you know, that's the big thing I'm trying to get around to all these parents is like, hey, there's opportunities out there. You know, it's not just football at Wash Eye. You know, you can wrestle. You know, I mean, we're producing kids. And, you know, there's only a certain amount of Division One scholarships going around. You know, so take advantage of the opportunity that you have. I love that. Good, good stuff there, man. Okay. Anything or anyone you want to shout out before I leave you go? Oh, I lost you a little bit. Uh, yeah, I shot too. It's okay. um, team to watch in AAA, Peters Township, telling you. Um, maybe once they're done with football. Um, so, you know, Peters, um, my boys, say hi to them. Um, Joey and Louie, Burgess Town. And then I remember last year, you guys. So I actually talked to Louie Vigilati about this. And uh, man, I forget the name of the place in Washington, but there's a restaurant you ought to ask Louie about next time you talk to him in Washington. He'll tell you it's the best pasta place you've ever been to. So if you ever talk to him Ooh. or Joey, They'll tell you by far the okay. best. Food place. And we talked about it, and I forget the name. And, and um, yeah, because you gave me TGI Fridays. No, nah, man, they closed TGI Fridays. Fridays. Adrian's heartbroken, but no, nah, man, there's this homemade place, and I've been there a good bit, and I, I don't, I don't remember the name of it, but he'll know it's okay. like that. So if you talk tweet to him, tweet me. Yeah, I'll t- we'll figure it out. We'll yeah, get for it all sure, up. dude, for sure. I, so I, I bet you I might have ate there. Uh, my my in laws are from Upper St. Clair, so. Oh, I'm dude. all through the out through the South Hills. There's a couple nice restaurants out there. Oh, Alan Rubens. Alan Rubens. No, Alan Rubens is the name. It's definitely not have had that. That sounds fantastic. That's though. it, man. It is absolutely like you would never expect it outside a little dive place. Ooh. Best, best food you'll get in Washington, PA. Probably. Okay. Okay. So, Let's go. Yeah. yeah, I'm down, dude. Let me know, man. All right, my yeah. man. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much for coming on and uh, hanging out with me. And I'll see you, uh, yeah, you know, at a wrestling tournament or at a tournament or a match sometime soon. For sure, dude. Take care, man. Oh, man, appreciate you.